Little Rod's lawsuit just revealed that Diddy and Drake's entire lifestyle and career was financed by a man named Lucian Grange. This is all alleged, you guys. So Lucian is a powerful man in the music industry as he's the CEO of Universal Music Group that owns labels like Motown Records, Young Money Entertainment, Rock Nation, and so, so much more. Kanye West revealed that Lucien is like a sugar daddy to rappers like Drake and Diddy. Essentially, these rappers are given whatever they want in exchange for uh, some favors, like the kind of stuff you learn at Diddy's Flavor Camp. So I'm Joseph Morris, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, ring the bell. And we're gonna investigate this together. So Kanye West put all this on blast on a recent podcast episode on The Download and did not hold back. Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So all of his streams in the number ones <laughs> is controlled by someone named Lucian. Well, Lucian work for people who control the banks in Africa. The streets are saying Drake is heavily supported by Lucian in exchange for favors. Fans have pointed out that Lucien would invest more money into promoting Drake's music and making sure it got the most attention out of all the other artists on the label. Some say this is also because Drake is half white and Jewish, which is why he gets preferential treatment from Lucien. Lucien's boss works for a company that works with the Rothschilds. So the Rothschilds are a famous Jewish family that owns a bank and some say they are the richest family in the world. So it makes sense that Kanye was dropped after the comments he made against Jewish people in 2021. Also, people on my last video kept commenting that Lucian sounds a lot like Lucifer, the devil, and I would have to agree. This guy just gives me an overall bad vibe, in my opinion. Kendrick Lamar, on his song Euphoria, called out Drake for using the N-word with a hard R, calling it cringe. There's somebody that I was like, I used to see out and be like, yo, that's that you know what I'm He's doing his thing. He opened for Jay. Universal Music Group has a string of controversies, including being accused of payola, and UMG allegedly rejects artists' termination notices and continues to sell their music without permission. So in a new document filed in Little Rod's lawsuit against Diddy, Lucien was sent a summons because he was named as someone who would not only attend these infamous Diddy parties, but get this, he would allegedly sponsor them. Present at these FO parties were not of age ex-workers as well as supplies. They say Diddy used his sons to get young people to attend these parties. Little Rod says Lucien knew Diddy was giving these people laced bottles of Ciroc so they can be taken advantage of and he would just turn a blind eye to it and sponsor it. Not a good luck. This is how business deals would allegedly go down, according to Little Rod. Drake and Diddy have been said to be on their knees for Lucien. One eyewitness said, quote, I saw both Drake and Diddy go into Diddy's bedroom with Lucien. They spent hours in there alone. And one time at a Diddy party, we saw Lucien getting serviced by both Diddy and Drake at the same time like they were both on their knees in front of him. It was very disturbing to witness this play out in front of my eyes. It was very dark, but I could definitely tell what they were doing, and it wasn't praying. The throuple between Diddy, Drake, and Lucien was like an open secret at these parties. Most people would just avoid it, but I couldn't help but be curious what was going on behind one of the curtains, and I was shocked, end quote. It was recently revealed the Fed sees over 250 cameras from Diddy's mansions, and Diddy apparently has footage of Lucien doing nefarious stuff at these Diddy parties. So this is potentially how Diddy secured these business deals. Diddy probably learned this practice from getting it on with Clive Davis, who was the producer who gave Diddy his start at Bad Boy Records. Our rumor has it, allegedly, Diddy got on his knees for Clive Davis in 1994, and that's how Bad Boy Records came about. DMX actually put this practice on blast by saying that you literally need to bow down to these record label producers and do favors for them to secure deals. Dude, they, they got they got these new, this new breed of rapper that's that's paying DJs to play this. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? They 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 they, they sucking the the, the uh, record label executive dicks and it's like they, they, there's too much of that going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let me be me. Let me be the artist that I am and just play my mother. 
fucking music. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now they want you all up under this, you know, sitting at the, at the going to dinner with them and shit like that, and you know, all that favor for a favor shit. I don't get down like that. Look, I give you the music, you give my money. That's it. Kanye West also claims that Lucien does some shady dealings that exploit Africans. So the parent company of Universal Music Group is called Vivendi, and the largest shareholder is a French conglomerate called Bollare Group, one of the largest companies in the world. And Bollare has built a huge influence in Africa. They control port terminals, railways, warehouses, and even plantations that still allegedly use till this day. The president of Bolare has been involved in numerous controversies, including allegedly bribing African officials for lucrative contracts. Bolare launched a defamation lawsuit against a French newspaper after they reported on the catastrophic human rights conditions on plantations controlled by Bolare's company in Liberia. This was just one of the many lawsuits launched by Bollare against journalists, newspapers, TV stations, and anyone else who dare call them out for profiting off modern day s in Africa. So these are the kinds of people Lucien answers to, and also therefore Drake and anyone else on his labels. Some would even go as far as to say these artists on these labels are murked to get huge insurance payouts. Cat Williams says huge life insurance policies are put onto these artists like Drakeo and the labels get paid out when they pass. According to Kanye, Drake has an even closer relationship to Lucien than Diddy does. And Kanye directly called out Drake for selling his soul to the devil and being controlled by his sugar daddy, Lucien. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to like, this is his job to go against God. Wow. So Ye just recently dropped a remix of Futures and Kendrick Lamar's diss track like that directed at Drake. And on his remix, Kanye raps, quote, Where's Lucien? Serve your master. You caught a little bag for your masters, didn't ya? Lifetime deal. I feel bad for y'all. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. I can't even think of a Drake line, end quote. The reason Ye is calling out Lucien as Drake's master is because Drake is signed under Young Money Entertainment, a label under Universal Music Group. Fans are reacting to this information and saying that it all adds up. Because of Drake's cultural background, you know what? He gets the biggest push through this industry on some too big to fail ish. It does rub me the wrong way. He's not so amazing. No other black artist in history should could have gotten that support. We heard entire albums worth of reference tracks. Let it slide word for word. Not him. You can't tell me that's not weird. He's handled different than any black artist in history. That's just weird. I think they finally got a you know who in the game and they making sure they make him go down as the biggest and best ever. And then another person added, the fact that Michael Jackson didn't make a billion off his music after five decades of service, and Drake did, tells you that it's rigged. Anyway, what do you guys think of Kanye West calling out Drake and Diddy's sugar daddy? Sound off in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit my face here, and let's roll the outro. 